author DC Agar here. I'm showing you how to wipe out all the mosquitoes in your yard, no matter how many there are, with nothing but a teaspoon, a little dish soap, and a one gallon pump sprayer. First, I'm going to fill my gallon pump sprayer up to the fill line with my rainwater with free, free water from my rain barrel, which I'm allowed to have in this state. Because if I wasn't, I'd go to my state legislator, write him a letter, and I'd stick up for myself. That's a hint to you all out there in the western states. Now the dish soap. Two teaspoons to one gallon of water is enough to dispatch most mosquitoes. Now, if you've got real greasy, nasty mosquitoes like we got around here, you may need up to four teaspoons per gallon of water. That's all there is to it. massive two gallon pump sprayer, take a quarter cup measure and fill it up to just under the rim for the greasier mosquitoes. Half that if you've got regular mosquitoes. Assuming you've got the heaviest infestation imaginable, I would advise a raincoat. Leave it open in the front so if they want a piece of you, they got to come around to the front of you where you can see them and they can't bite your back. You take your sprayer, and I would just invite them to come out. Yank on the vegetation, disturb it. Because they're sucking on the juice of the plants when they're not doing it to you. And then when they come after you, just set it to a fine mist. And then when you make contact with one of them in the air with the soap spray, it shouldn't take very much soap spray to send that thing onto the ground. And uh, you can watch it hit the ground and then go nuts on the ground after it. Uh, you've washed all the oil off it and it can't fly properly. The water sticks to it because of the soap. And the soap also washes the oil away from their breathing apparatus. And it desiccates them eventually. And so you make your way through the yard using the wand to disturb the bushes. Wake those mosquitoes up. Use yourself as bait. Defend yourself every so often from the sheer cloud that forms. Defend your head from them with this move right here. That'll get them away from your head. Or soak them as they, they come and answer the dinner bell. Just keep going, making your way through the yard, stirring up the biggest cloud of mosquitoes you possibly can now that you're armed and dangerous with your soap spray. Fight your way to the sources of water where they may be breeding, and then you just knock those buckets over. And as you look closely, you can see the mosquito larvae wiggling around in the water. That's what they look like right there. That one's settling on the surface in that jar. And as I turn the jar to get it to move, it's right at the tip of my finger. That's where it is. Yeah. If you've ever seen those things wiggling around in water, that's what they look like. That's your enemy right there. And so you need to start bailing. Bailing whatever sources of water that may be breeding them. But there's actually a couple alternatives to bailing. Uh, you can put a mosquito dunk in there from the hardware store. Yeah, mosquito dunks, those little donuts of bacteria. That's a fancy guppy from the pet store. It resides in our bird bath, and it was born to eat mosquito larvae. It does a great job for us. Pregnant, I hope. Okay, those are my habanero plants, and right there, I originally used this soap spray to control white flies, and that's how I found out it's pretty much good against all insects. There's a couple of unintended effects of soap spray, just a couple. Uh, phytotoxicity. I'm having to rinse the soap spray off of those habanero plants right there before the sun comes up, before the sun hits them and does this to the leaves. Phytotoxicity. The leaves are stunted, they're wrinkled, and that's what it looks like on a fire bush. Not doing worse for the wear. That's another plant. Same thing. The leaves look stunted and wrinkled in spots where I left the soap spray on and the sun hit them. Well, that about concludes it. That's my sci-fi novel, available on Amazon. Check it out. And my Facebook page, Bird Flu H5N1 New Strain.